Hey everyone, it's Ryan here from thegameinquirer.com. Uh, with me today I've got a good old friend Dan. Hello everyone. Um, I thought I would bring you along for this game, because yep. in particular, I know you have a fondness for this series, uh, Donkey Kong Country. Yes. And we're going back to the original one for the SNES. The very first one. The very, yes, uh, from Rare. 1994, bloody hell. That was a long time ago. How old, <laughs> how old were you in 94? I was, I was six years old. <laughs> I was nine. That's... <laughs> It's a horrible fall. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Have we broken the game have already? We have broken the no. no, we're good. We're good. Whew. There he is with his gramophone. So, am I right in thinking that Cranky Kong is the original Donkey Kong from the Donkey Kong well, arcade I games? I think we've had this discussion before, and I think that was the conclusion we came to, yeah. And then because this he, guy. This is Donkey Kong Jr., right? This is him, to... yeah. yeah. So, who the hell is Diddy Kong then? Is he just someone. His nephew or something weird like that. I don't okay. know. <laughs> start, start bringing in family I'm sure, members. I'm sure there's a Donkey Kong uh, family tree somewhere available <laughs> online. If not, someone get on that. Yep. Okay. So we're going to do a two-player team. Because if I remember, two-player contest, basically you're playing the, the exact same game one at a time. Yep. So you, you're playing the game twice, essentially. Whereas this, I'm Donkey Kong. No, Let's face it. When people play Donkey Kong Country, no one wants to play as Donkey Kong. <laughs> He's slow... And I've got all the... Okay. No? We're good? Yeah? Okay. Just learning the buttons. Yep. It's been a long time since I've played this game. So this is the story, basically. This is the, f the only cutscene you need, is he walks in and his bananas are gone and he's upset. <laughs> and I wish, be, I, right? I wish so many more games these days were like that. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're all here. So is the, um, with the new Donkey Kong games... I'm not controlling this guy at all. No, it's not like now... Uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns and Tropical Freeze, and I am missing everything because this is where you should really be controlling because I can't move very much. But um, yeah, you could play simultaneously with that, so you would be playing as Diddy at the same time. But with the old ones, yeah. um, whoever's in the lead would basically take control. Now, if I press this button and tag you in, uh, now you're in control. And the way it will work is if you get hit by an enemy, which I'm sure you'll do pretty soon. How maybe. dare you? <laughs> then uh, you would run away, and then it would be left with me until I find another DK barrel. Oh, there was oh sorry, yeah. back. There you go. There we are. Missing a few. I've got balloons. Is that so good. No, that's alive. Yeah, balloons are lives. I think they they were lives in yeah, they're new lives. ones as well. Yeah. And then oh. uh, this, you'll probably recognise this guy, Rambi the Rhino. Yep. <laughs> can, I, can, I, can I go down there? Uh, yes. Oh. No, no, no. If you go down to the left. There you go. Another shortcut. Uh, nice. I've played this game so many <laughs> times. I remember the first few shortcuts for each of the stages. Yeah, you got that one, so now you've got a match three. It was a good effort. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. He's thrown his hat on the floor. He's, uh, he's uh, raging quite bad. <laughs> so did you ever play this uh, for the SNES when it came out, or is this... Um, yeah, I never, I never owned it. I remember playing it around my cousins, so I never, like, I remember playing it briefly, but not a lot. I remember not being very good at it at all. <laughs> like most games, then. <laughs> so yeah, there's a tally up in the top right, so there is a bit of a competitive edge to it that every level you finish. Thank you, Beckham. Wait. Great. <laughs> Fantastic. Every every level. <laughs> every level that you finish, you get a point, and so you know. That was always fun for me and my brother to see who could finish more levels. Because it would always be very irritating to go through a whole stage and then get killed at the very end so that <laughs> someone can then take over. And there I am again. I also remember these games being Just a bit... again. <laughs> I also remember these games being quite tough. Yeah. Um, especially compared to the new Donkey Kongs where you, if you die, you can just spawn in someone again whenever you like. Whereas with this, you... Uh, Oh! oh! That you thought we were gonna die. Yep. Um, yeah, whereas now it's like if if you were to die or I was to die, the only way we can come back is if we get a barrel. Mm. So definitely tougher. Well, well, I think I think like games, obviously games these days tend to be a bit easier than not games anyway. But I think even this game was fairly hard for its time, right? Yeah, yeah, and I I mean I didn't play Donkey Kong Country three. Mm -hmm. huh? Okay, that didn't work. Hmm. Oh. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, I didn't play Donkey Kong Country 3, so I don't know how difficult a game that was. But the second one 
was definitely the tougher game of the two. So they did, you know, maybe the third one was harder than the second and they got harder, but this is by no means an easy, easy game. Um, I don't know, just have to... Which one do you think it is? Oh, no idea. I'm going to go with this one. Yeah. He's lucky. Also, a lot of secrets in this game as well. So many little bonus rooms. Mm. And some I didn't realise until I was in my late teens. Um, was that... Well, I'll show you in a minute. If I can... Hopefully I won't die at the very end and let you get that point. <laughs> but yeah, um... Each stage, when if you look at the name of it, has an exclamation mark at the end. Yeah. And that means you found all the secret rooms in that stage. Oh. And I actually didn't realise that. <laughs> and I was, you know, does it does it explain to you anywhere in the manual or? It probably uh... <laughs> does, because uh, obviously back then manuals were like huge chunky things, and that was the only way you could talk about the story in the game because you can't really have cutscenes in <laughs> games like this. But let's tag you back in. All right. Me. Another thing, I mean, at the time these games were absolutely gorgeous looking. These were. This was one of the first games to like use like pre-rendered like um, computer graphics to like model their characters. Oh, I want to say yes. <laughs> I mean, I mean, someone would probably call me out and be like, well, <laughs> technically there were these other games, but for me at least, these this is the earliest I remember of seeing like a pre-rendered mm -hmm. game. And then after, I guess Resident Evil was another big franchise that used them. Soundtrack's really good as well. Yeah, the soundtrack's always been uh, great in a Donkey Kong game. Well, because the interesting thing is the guy, uh, David Wise, who did the Donkey Kong Country oh, series, yeah. Yeah. Um, they actually brought him back for Tropical Freeze, which again, you know, is a game that has a, a really amazing soundtrack. Um, and also, not that I'm advertising for Nintendo at all, but if you, if you do buy one of the uh, original trilogy, on the virtual console because I, I believe they're coming out every week aren't they yeah, yeah. Um, for the snares and the Game Boy Advance Donkey Kong Land and then you get a discount on Tropical Freeze as well which is definitely worth getting that game yeah I think it brings it down to like £26 or something like that so it's like £40 minus 33% I'm not sure exactly but oh yeah it's alright you wanted to give me that boost oh, oh. shoot <laughs> But yeah, so um, Don Donkey Kong, uh, this one was out this week, Donkey Kong 2 next week, and then the third one the following week. Which, everyone everyone needs to play Donkey Kong Country 2. That game is probably one of my favourite games I've ever played. I'm, this is the only Donkey Kong on, on the snares that I've played. And even then I've not played, like, that much of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, underwater stages, I hate them so much. But the music is so good in this. <laughs> like, this, this is the music everyone remembers from Donkey Kong Country. And even so much that they brought it back <laughs> in a remix for the Donkey Kong Country Returns. And then, uh, again, in Tropical Freeze, there's another remix of it. I, I see. You know all these secrets. <laughs> Matt, look, I had this. This is like when we had a SNES when I was a kid. We had about like six or seven games. And this was one of them. And so I yeah. just played the shit out of it. Non-stop. And then D Donkey Kong Country 2, never actually owned. I just kept going to Blockbuster and renting it and renting it and renting it. Yeah, um, me, we were the same in my house with Mario Kart. We um, for the SNES, we rented it so many times that we could have bought. We probably could have bought. We paid renting it. We probably could have bought the game several times over. <laughs> <laughs> and eventually, we did buy it. <laughs> oh man! Oh, oh. Damn. come back! I can't. I can't swim very fast. I'll get to the halfway checkpoint and then... Uh, oh no, we already passed it, didn't we? You know what? There you go, you can swim for a bit. Yeah. The little animal buddies in this were quite cool. Because um, there was the frog. Oh, was that another secret I discovered accidentally? The swordfish, the ostrich, and uh, the rhino. <laughs> oh, what a joke. Where are you going? Uh, how do I get him back? You just got to jump on him. <laughs> The weird thing about these games, they came out for the Wii Virtual Console and then disappeared. Nintendo took them off uh, with no explanation. They just said, hey guys, uh, the trilogy is only going to be on there for you know a few more months. So if you want to download it, download it now. And then they took it down and that was it. And everyone assumed it was to do to do with Rare, obviously, who you know developed the game and 
rare being owned by Microsoft. Yeah. Um, so there may have been some sort of legal problems there. But lo and behold, a out of nowhere announcement saying that it's coming to the Wii U. So that yeah. caught a lot of people off guard. Funky Kong. It might be some legal reason for that, yeah. Seems, it seems strange considering Nintendo own Funky yeah. Kong, everyone's favourite Kong. Although you going in here has no real reason at all because we can't fly anywhere. Oh. <laughs> so we can go back to where we were. <laughs> <laughs> Although it does make you move quicker. That's about it. <laughs> hey, but Matt, we're just trying to show off all the features for this game. Does, does, and does a plane being in a barrel, like, I'm pretty sure that would make it less aerodynamic, right? <laughs> right, there we go. We got there in the end. I'm tagging you back in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Almost that was a dirtbag move, that was. <laughs> there is a secret up there, but kind of want to show off the barrels because obviously that is a big part of the series actually i kind of want to see you do the barrel part because oh, i imagine your timing's not too oh. hot oh, how dare you oh, I'm, I'd, I'd happily give it a go all right here we go there is one stage in this game i think it's when you get to the uh, snow world where the barrels rotate 360 degrees yeah and then there's one part at the end of the first level where your timing has to be amazing because one 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 false move and you will die and have to go back to the uh, halfway checkpoint again and as a kid i could never do it and as an adult i still struggle to do it and i have to take a shortcut <laughs> oh that's exciting so are you a, a diddy kong man or a donkey kong man <laughs> diddy kong who, who wants to be donkey kong no one uh, he's all right he's too slow i mean even in like oh. <laughs> <laughs> Our first death of the game. That, that's that's Whoopsie. fine. We're trying. I think we should try and get to the minecart stage at least, because obviously that's something the series is known for. Oh, you made the I remember if you put down. Okay, I was gonna say if you put down the barrel, it will shake violently the TNT barrel and eventually explode. The game also saw like a natural flow to it as well, like jumping on enemies into barrels, shooting from the barrel and so on. It just feels more, whereas Mario, you know, you've got a time, you, you know, a bit more slow paced this, you could, it feels like you can just keep flowing through the level if you're really good. Almost like a Sonic game, I guess, in a way. Yeah. What are you focusing now? I am focusing, yes. <laughs> All my attention. Oh! <laughs> I, knew, I knew you were going to do that. Right. You want another crack at it, or should I? Yeah. <laughs> Redemption. Here we go, look, here we go. Put the barrel down. Just shakes Ooh. violently, and then you can pick it up again. Whoop. See, stuff like that, like, I, the hitboxes are quite lenient at times. You don't have to be directly on their head, and... Yep, I did not mean to jump in the barrel, because now... There you, oh. there you go, there you go, I did that. You that I, I did it on purpose so you could take over. <laughs> oh, I, was, I was rushing then, you rushed me. <laughs> Why were you rushing? You, you put me off. <laughs> Alright, you get one more crack at it, you get one more attempt. Okay, yeah, one more. So do you prefer, do you prefer the old school Donkey Kong games like this, or do you prefer the ones that came after? Like the, like the, newer, the newer ones now, which are based on these games. Um... Tropical Freeze and Donkey Kong Returns. I I feel like they're a bit they're very different. Like yeah, they are Donkey Kong, they're called Donkey Kong Country, but I feel the newer ones have a sort of different feel to them. And I guess it depends what. Oh yeah, I think you should. Play, man. <laughs> and you were the one saying, "How dare you say my reflexes and my timing is not that good?" <laughs> but yeah, no, I'm, I mean. There's a certain charm to these old games, but I guess that you know it could be nostalgic, couldn't it really? But I think all five of them, well, all four of them, and from what I've heard, the third, the third one from the original trilogy is really good. Are great games, and what Retro Studios did with the more recent attempts at the games, they sort of like brought it into the, you know the new generation. What? There we go. Yeah. 
There we go. Oh. Easy. That's how you do it. Oh, who's that character there? Candy Kong. Candy Kong. We don't need to say that. It was fine. <laughs> when does um, is it Dixie Kong? Yes. When does she get introduced into this franchise? She's introduced uh, in the second one because the story is Donkey Kong gets kidnapped, and then in the third one, um, the Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong get kidnapped. So it's you're playing as Dixie Kong and I want to say Kitty Kong, like a baby. <laughs> banana is the Nintendo logo on it. It does. What were you expecting? <laughs> the doll logo? Or <laughs> is that is it doll? Is that a is that the one that's in Monkey Ball I think? I don't know. Right, we're one away from the Wink, uh Winky? Is it is there a Winky Kong? Winky is the frog. Oh. Winky would be a good name for <laughs> Kong. <laughs> <laughs> would be a horrible name. <laughs> then again there have been some horrible names for Kongs in the past like Lanky Kong. <laughs> is there a Wonky Kong? No. A <laughs> wonky Kong sounds amazing. There's a tiny Kong, a chunky Kong, a lanky Kong. I think there's a wrinkly Kong maybe or something. A wrinkly Kong. Maybe. Oh, yeah, I think she's good. like the one you... Uh, who? Candy Kong's not in the second one. I don't think. Um, and then you actually go to an old, la an old lady monkey to save your game. Oh, Fantastic. That, that, that happened just at the right time. <laughs> Beaver is a lot smaller than the one I just bought. Boom. Oh, oh wow. Look at me grab all these bananas. Yeah. There's one thing that monkeys like, and that's bananas. All 49 of them. Well, here's a question. Okay. King K. Rule. He's a big crocodile, right? Yeah. Why would he want bananas? Um. Bonus stage. I think just Do you remember to, these? I think just to stop them from having the bananas, right? That's that seems kind of petty. Um, I don't remember this at all. Just got every hundred you get, you get another life. So get as many as you can. Oh, Ho hopefully, right. try and get more than ninety-nine. How do you fly? You just keep tapping the button, and you can do that. If you go up, keep climbing up. You can, there's another bit you can just oh, I see. fly down oh, onto. Right. You are doing a very, very poor job of this at the moment. <laughs> there we go. That, there you go. You found it now. Found your rhythm. I want to say you have 25 seconds left, but those don't seem like seconds. You have 15 numbers left to go. Yeah, those aren't <laughs> seconds. <laughs> you got three lives, though. I remember if you go up the top there, there's a giant ostrich coin thing and that would double your number. Ah, that, that information would have been helpful earlier. Nah, it wouldn't. <laughs> Look at all these beavers. Nah. Oh, we've been here before. That was where you went in the bonus barrel. Ah, yeah, that makes sense. Did you play the Donkey Kong on the... What was one after the SNES? Was it like the N64? That was like a 3D version. Of uh, yeah, that was rare again. That was because that was after they made Banjo Kazooie, I think, um, and it had a very similar feel. And that's where they introduced Lanky Kong and Chunky Kong and Tiny Kong. And was that it, that was game, it a good game, it was good, but it, it was. I mean, that was back uh, at a time when collect collecting games started becoming a big thing. Um, because the way it worked is there were five Kongs, and each Kong, you had to control each Kong to be able to get their five golden bananas and yeah. their hundred colored bananas. So Diddy Kongs would be red, Donkey Kongs would be yellow, um, Tiny Kongs would be purple, and so on. And you had to find these barrels to then switch character, and it was just it was it was fun to begin with, but then it just gets frustrating because it's like, oh look, here's here's some blue bananas I need but shit there's some blue <laughs> bananas I need but I need to change characters so I can then collect them and it was just a very frustrating experience in the end but it was, st it was still good it's really hard to play these levels and talk at the same time <laughs> oh I don't think my time is good considering my tower <laughs> was earlier I don't think uh, I'm going to be great on the minecart stages the annoying thing here is that only you're in control of this. I can't do anything. So if you fall, I go with you. Like oh. that. <laughs> nah, gravity wasn't right then. It should have lost the track and then got back on the... Uh... 
Oh, here we go. Oosh. Step number three, we can do this. I do remember the minecart stages being the most... Despite being difficult, they were the most fun. Yeah, I mean... Because when you think about it, all you're doing is just pressing jump at the right time. It's what I remember most from the series, like, early on. This is... I think when I first got Donkey Kong Country, when I was a kid... Um, this is the stage that caused me the most trouble because there's one jump. I think this is it here. Where if you, yeah, if you jump too late and you jump too uh, too early, then you either miss the jump or you just fall down completely. And this is where we would struggle because there's no checkpoint on this bit. You have to finish this and another stage. And if you fail, then you have to go back to the previous world just before the boss. No, really. Yeah. So it was like so many repeats of doing that boss over and over just to get back to this <laughs> minecart stage and then fail again and then go back. Luckily now we have save states so <laughs> if we want to we can just save it and come back to it. And... No I'm risking it for those buttons. Yes. Oh, I think that's how you do it. Checkpoint. <laughs> Getting a bit twitchy oh, there right? Yeah. <laughs> Oh no, am I on my own for the yep. rest of the stage now? There's not another <laughs> barrel. Oh. Damn it. I was doing pretty well. And then you showed me. It's because I've been out of it for too long. <laughs> I was just... I've been out of the game so long. <laughs> yep. 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 Don't care that I missed that. Or oh. that. <laughs> Oh, should have missed that. How is anyone supposed to know that there was going to be a, uh, another crocodile or whatever it was? Oh, I don't know why I'm pressing buttons for. Is there? <laughs> Not going to help. Oh. Oh. oh no. I think I'd got that in earlier. That would have been uh, fantastic. I feel like I'm going to get hit by some like because yeah. these jumps are too. Oh, oh, I don't think you'd make that one because you're, you're, you're not oh. Oh, you're not confident with the uh, when it goes upwards. You need to survive longer. <laughs> then we have a backup. <laughs> right, yes, we got this. We got this. Yeah. I say once we finish this, we'll round it off because I think you know that's a good demo. The of 3D what version then did, did Donkey Kong and the N64 have uh, minecart levels? It did have a minecart stage, but it was like you had to lean left and right, if I remember. Um, so it was kind of weird. It wasn't like these as much, but they tried to include them in it, obviously. Remember the final boss being weird as well? It was like a boxing match with King K. Rule, and then you had five parts to uh, it. Is that a bit you failed on last time? No, I, I got past that bit. Where's the bit I failed on? One of these bits. No. This bit here, wasn't it? Yeah. <gasps> oh shit! Yes! Easy! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the humanity! <laughs> oh. Well, let's do that one. Let's do that all over again. <laughs> How many lives do we have left? I forgot about that last bastard. I'm okay with the other schools, but when the other guys come along, I'm not too. Uh, it's these, it's these broken minecarts that catch me off. Because even if you clip it, you lose. Oh, oh no. I, I <laughs> anticipated too much, so. Oh. There's not that much room for error, is there? <laughs> not these, no. How'd they make these games so difficult? <laughs> How'd they release it and go, yep, yeah, this will be fine? <laughs> <laughs> Lack of testing. It's Different. like, nah, that's cool. Because now that now they like games have so much um, like play testers and stuff that come in just to play the game that Right, like, where is it? Shh shh. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Done. Sweet. So yeah, I feel we could, we could play this all day, pretty much. Yeah. We could probably play through to the end. But um, yeah, that's Donkey Kong Country um, out on Nintendo eShop. I think it's £5.49. Yeah. I think it's about... If you have it originally on the Wii, then you'll get a discount for one forty nine, which is pretty great. Yeah, um, not, not bad. Because, you know, one of the benefits of this is you can then play on the gamepad. You don't have to play it on the TV, so I think that's worth one forty nine. I think these games are kind of old 
school games definitely are a lot of fun playing on the pad have the tv on in the background you know there's not so much emphasis on story and cutscenes and stuff so yeah it's really nice having that option um so yeah out now uh number two will be out damn number two will be out uh next thursday so yeah maybe we'll do a video on that as well yep. and when the third one's out we'll do that in two weeks time as well um so yeah cheers for that dan yeah no problem thanks a lot see you guys bye